Dude, we can absolutely get a full match. Oh, oh dude, yeah. time for class, time for class. Gotta, 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 gotta. Now that you made a comment about my muscles, I'm gonna oh, flex Oh, let's get a good, let's get a good. We gotta get a good shadows. shadowing. Where does it look good? Push it up in the back. Hello and good morning, everyone. Good Welcome morning. back. I don't even know what day it is. Oh wait, I just saw a trash can on the side. It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> it is Friday. We're going into the weekend. One of our last weekends before school starts. And the weekends are really gonna mean a lot. Today, we've got some stuff we gotta take care of because mom is actually heading out on a school retreat with Raga. It's like a student council stuco retreat. Correction. Retreat sounds like it's like a spa. Right, let's not call it a retreat. <laughs> let's call it what it is. I'm taking a it's sleeping like a bag out. and <laughs> sleeping mat and bug spray. <laughs> it's more like a camp out at a cabin. She's I'm hoping she has a bed. I'm super excited. I think that they're just having people bring sleeping just bags in case. so they don't have to wash all the sheets in the house. But it is actually very, very cool and really cool that she gets to be involved with that. Gets to go with Ryler as he heads into junior high. He's on the student council. Gets to take they're his going, mommy. Ryler's actually a pretty cool kid. I think he's excited to have her come along. They're going to plan out some activities for the year. How they're going to do the kickoff for the first week of school. A lot of yeah, really a cool lot of fun things. school things. My guys, we got school on the mind. We got Ryler going to junior high on the mind. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. As uh, part of that, Ryler gets a pretty dope locker in a completely separate section of the school, the junior high of the school. We thought they meet at the school today to head out for their retreats. So we thought as long as we're going over there, why don't we go just stock his locker ahead of time, get yeah. all that stuff oh, set up and ready. And ready for school. If you've seen Ryler's locker in the past, it's been a year since he's had a locker because they didn't have them last year. We don't just put books in there. We don't just put pens, pencils, protractors, calculators, all of those things. Wait, that's stuff that you use? They, normally that stuff is in a locker. That's but probably the stuff you use because you graduated. <laughs> I never graduated. Mindy, you graduated junior high. We're talking about junior high here. Oh. <laughs> so in this locker though, it's a little bit more Bingham, you guys. We gotta go pick up a few essentials to add some flair to Rye Guy's junior high locker. Doing it up big this year for his first year junior high seventh grade locker. We're gonna give you a full tour before mom heads out on a retreat. We have come to Rye Guy's school. We have set up his locker. Now, this is his first junior high locker of his like life. Seventh grader. Yeah. He and had one in fifth grade. Fifth grade. They didn't do him for sixth so grade. So, Crew is getting a locker yes. soon. He just doesn't have one yet. And this will be Crew's first locker of his life because yeah. he didn't get one in fifth grade. He's going to get one in sixth. So, we'll probably have to do something similar for Crew to do. So, make sure you stick around for that one. But he doesn't have his locker yet. He doesn't get that until school starts. That's right. yeah. In junior high, you get him in advance. That way, you can yeah. see where it's at in relation to your classes. You can load it up with your stuff, your books, all the things you're going to need. The essentials for a successful. I'm I mean, these are the junior things high. that are going to get you yeah, through the, the day, Ragai. Like, this is the key to success in junior high. We're going to show you right now. Let's take a peek inside Ragai's locker we just got here. It's yeah. all set up. I think it is ready for a successful yeah. honor roll year for Ragai. It's so oh, my gosh. Is this the pantry Bro. or are we at the school? No, this is a junior high locker set for success. Yeah. This is a seventh grade essentials kit yes. right here, guys. My guy, why don't you go through, show us what you've got in your locker, okay? Let's go from top to bottom. Okay, so I like that. We have all of these LED lights. Okay, critical, critical. Yes. Oh, wait, these also, are new. This is a new addition. What yeah, are these? We have these oh. lights that just. Oh, on and off. touch lights on. Okay, that's good because you want to be able to see so that you can see clearly that your future yes. is bright. I see what you're doing here. I like it. Okay, good, yes. good, good. Okay, what else? And then we have uh, some cosmic brownies. <laughs> that's learning about astronomy. Yeah, that's so, basically. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes, cosmic brownies. You are learning about astronomy. I love it. Okay. Probably the biggest thing of barbecue Pringles. <laughs> Those are in a cylinder. So oh, geometry. Oh, so it goes, geometry. 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 Obviously geometry. geometry there and also you got the party stack because you yeah. probably are gonna have a lot of friends who yeah. want to hang out with you socializing There's a lot key of component so to junior high divide see how many friends you're gonna more math. Yes. Love it. Okay. What else you got buddy? What else? Next we've got these pop tarts. Okay pop tarts. tarts. Yep. Yeah. That's a classic staple in junior high uh, Oreo thins Obviously, you've got to have a mini fridge stock, but what is in there buddy? Show me what we got. We got so apple we juice milk two Gatorades in the back couple of Gatorades and some milk. <laughs> That's gonna keep you hydrated. These are the physical fitness essentials of junior high You've got to stay hydrated while learning. That's gonna help you keep your mind fresh. Hey, I love it And then moving down into the next layer. What do we have down here below right guy? Um, so down below we have three things of cereal. Okay, cereal So just you know, not? they do say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Don't forget your utensils I... and some milk. Boom. Okay. Anyone hungry? And back here we have a balloon a blender, yeah, dude. Smoothies, another. Yeah. You don't even need a cord for it. It's USB done. powered. I love it, dude. Okay, so maybe we make a smoothie. Is that a waffle maker back there, dude? It's a waffle maker. You could make waffles in your locker. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Full service breakfast here. Then for some in-between class entertainment, obviously you've got to have a gaming console. What junior high locker is complete without a gaming console? Yep. I see that you've got like really everything that you could need. Missing maybe like books, yeah. pencils, well, like pens, paper. Oh, I think that's where I went <laughs> so, wrong. <laughs> did you go shopping at a grocery store or a school supply shop? <laughs> Dude, I think this locker is next level. This is a junior high level locker, but yes. something that I need to teach you because a lot of kids lose sight of this, especially as you get into junior high. This is about the time that I started skipping breakfast. And you can't do that, guys. No, I skip breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Most important meal of the day, and it fuels your brain. It fuels your creativity. It's going to give you energy to be interactive in class, to participate. Oh, so I, I think that. we want to make sure you've got everything you need for a full breakfast. So let's just make sure we can get you started off on the right foot. Let's cook us up some breakfast right, right here in your locker, right, should so we? It looks like let's we see what we got. Cereal? Would you like a waffle? Would you like a smoothie? What would you like? This is my locker. Welcome you know, to I Riley's like locker. Waffles, bacon, juice, smoothie maybe. Okay. Do okay. you have anything like that? I think that? we can do that. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, ma'am, so what did you order today? Uh, I had a smoothie. Okay. Oh, perfect. Go. Waffles and bacon. Okay, I yeah. think I have that. Yep, here you go. Um, um, um. And I think some cereal. Extra careful. Can I actually get some more Fruit Loops? How's that? Real good. <laughs> oh, real good. So I think it's important that you had breakfast and I think mom really enjoyed that breakfast and she's very grateful to have a son who will cook her breakfast out of his own locker. I mean, how many kids can say they've cooked their mom breakfast in a locker? Before? Not a lot. That's a great way to start the day. And to keep your mind fresh and creative, something that you might want to do in between classes. Like this is not during class time. We want to be responsible here. We're not trying to be crazy, fill our kids up with the junk food and video games. But in between classes, you've got like a five minute break. I think it's a perfect time for a gaming sesh, dude. So let's just practice really quick. Could we get a full Mario Kart tournament in, in let's between see. classes? I bet we let's can. See. Dude, we can absolutely get a full match. Oh, oh yeah. dude, time for class, time for class. Gotta, gotta, gotta go. You forgot your books. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, I mean like you literally didn't bring any books. Oh, sure. <laughs> there you have it. After a full breakfast and a gaming sesh, I think our rye guy is ready for oh. junior high. You're gonna do great. <laughs> yeah. If this is what you're gonna do for your friends, I actually saw the vice principal walk around. She asked us to decorate her office next. And so I Don't think that's gonna be cool. You are gonna be the hot spot. Those lockers are meeting incredible. Now guys, obviously we're going to switch out some of this stuff for so. some books and some pencils and some papers and some binders. You saw us we'll do that. See. If you didn't, go check out our back yeah. to school supply hall where we picked oh, up yeah. all the essentials. All that stuff that we bought. Go that's maybe. gonna go in there. So we're gonna have to create some space. Maybe take out a few of the things, but I do think we have to leave, I don't know, the mini fridge, the waffle, uh, the bacon. I don't know I'm hungry. The Nintendo Switch console. Should a gaming console be in a locker? Let us know, what do you guys think? But these guys are about to take off on a student council retreat. Yep. So they've got all their stuff, it's here in the car, they're actually meeting here, that's why we came and did this today. We're gonna pack up, head out to like a cabin, I think? Yeah, yeah, we're going to a cabin. We're gonna spend not even 24 hours there, and have some fun. Making some plans, planning out the beginning of the year, some of the fun activities that they wanna do for the school this year. So very excited for our rag guy who was on student council for the first time, going excited. to the junior high. It's gonna be really fun. Doing it like a boss dude with a pretty epic locker as well. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. Right guy, here's to an epic seventh grade year. Cheers. Mmm. Fruity. We are back home now. Mom has gone off with Rye Guy on their retreat. What it is is they take the student council out to kick off the school year. They brainstorm, they plan, they do some team building. It is a ton of fun and mom went as a chaperone, kind of volunteer and help out there. So we are here at the house ourselves again today as we were when mom went to Disneyland. Probably not gonna party it up quite as hard because we do have a family party here at the house on Sunday. So we don't wanna trash the place just before that. We're be celebrating three birthdays at that family party. Gonna try and wrap in everybody, all the kids who are in July as well as Rye Guy who is in August. As we went over to the school today to set up Rye Guy's 
guys, Locker. It is a blustery, windy day out there. Like, I'm talking bend trees over windy right now. It is crazy windy. Infinitely worse than that. You can't see anything out there. I'll try and go out there and show you what I'm talking about. Give you an idea of how thick and dense the air is out there. It is completely smoke covered. It is covered in smoke. I don't even know where the fires are from. I don't know where it's blowing in from. But Mindy just sent me an article that said that as of this moment right now, Utah has the worst air quality on the planet. I'm not talking the worst air quality in the U.S., not the worst quality in the West, Midwest, East, Northeast Coast, Eastern Regional Hemisphere of the globe. I am talking the worst air quality on the planet in the world going on right here, right now. So you guys, we're not going to go outside today. I don't think we're going to go out there and breathe that in. We wanted to do some fun rides on the bikes, scooters, and we're going to keep it pretty chill. Day is pretty much halfway over anyway. Brexit is at a birthday party that is at an indoor pool, actually, so that's fantastic. He'll be back soon. Brog and Mom headed to their retreat. So that just leaves me, crew, and Hazy here for the time being. Going to keep it pretty chill inside and avoid that icky, icky air out there. Worst in the world. We've just been having a phenomenal day here in the house, chilling together. I've been getting some fun pictures and updates from mom on the road. She is out with Rai Guy. They're doing a fun service project right now. There is this glowing, gorgeous sun right behind Rai Guy. Shovel over his shoulder, ready to put in some work, kick off the school year right. They are loving it up there. We are loving it here. I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit of a cheese ball, admittedly. A little bit more emotional. I'm probably the more touchy-feely one between myself and Mindy. I think she would even admit to that. And I am having a really hard time with the kids going back to school. I won't talk about it in too much depth because I get emotional every time. I'm not ready for summer to be over. I've loved having all of this time together as a family. You've been here long enough you know that it's my ultimate goal in life to just get as much time as I possibly can with my family, with my kids, while they are at the age that they actually care and want to be around me, want to hang out with me, because inevitably they'll grow up and be teenagers, they're going to have their own lives. It happens so fast. I just want to be with them as much as I can. In that vein, you guys, we had a fun sleepover last time. Mom went to Disneyland, like last weekend, I think, and I just loved being all together, falling asleep together, spending every literal waking second together. So once again, Mom is gone, Rai Guy's gone. They're doing their own sleepover at their retreat. We're setting one over here in the basement. We're gonna watch a fun movie, wind down this day together, close out this night together and have an epic sleepover down here in the basement. To finish off the last official weekend of summer, we do have one more weekend coming up, but that is the weekend that leads into school. It's gonna be Rai Guy's birthday. There's a lot to get ready for as we go into our first day of school, so we certainly won't be having any sleepovers or staying up late because we're getting ready to go back to school. So really the last official weekend of summer going down right here in the Bingham Theater, watching a movie, playing some games, eating some snacks, doing it Bingham style, doing it together as a family. We are set up for another sleepover here in the basement. Are you guys pumped for another sleepover? After the ones we did while mom was gone, we said we've got to do at least one more before school starts. So this is it going down right here. Maybe even one more when Rai Guy gets back. Who knows? But they're off having a great time. Mom has been updating me. They've been doing some service projects out there, killing it, preparing, planning out the new school year. We're going to get to bed here, guys. We love you so much. Thank you for hanging with us. Thanks for being a part of Rai Guy's Locker Tour. It was epic on a whole other level. Hit that like button for Rai Guy's Locker. We're going to say goodnight from here. Make sure you come back tomorrow. we got a lot more fun coming up this weekend, including fun family party for all the kids' birthdays that went down in the summer, as well as the return of mom and Rai Guy in the morning. We Love you. Thanks as always, and we'll see you tomorrow. Night, everybody. Bye. It's dead.